Alright, this is for people that are using LIRC. This is a specific problem that I had for a while and recently I, f I solved it, I guess. Um, so, let me give you an example here. Let's say you have your remote set up, everything works fine except for this BS problem. Um, so, for example, if I type in IRW, this command will basically allow you to see if your remote is working. So, if I press some buttons on my remote, okay. Uh, let's say I press up, down, left, right, whatever it is, or hit the OK here. You can see that even though I press it one time for each button, it sends it five times. So you see my right key, uh, I mean right button here, it sends it you know from zero to four. Uh, this is OK button, it sends it from zero to four, and so on and so forth for all my keys. And that's not what we want because when you're doing that, like let's say in your media center or whatever it is that you're binding to um, and let's say you navigate like to the right or to the left uh, even though you press it one time it's gonna you know go five times and that's not what we want to do we want to suppress it and we want to just send it one time okay so that's what we're gonna do push control C out of this so I'm gonna use my aliases let me do that for you guys so you can say see what uh, I'm typing in so the first one is what you want to do is look for your mapping or look into your LIRC conf uh, say you want to use gedit or yeah gedit why not alright and in here they have this um, include string here. What you want to do is copy this location here or this path I mean. This is where your remote is at. Uh, obviously it's going to look different for your different setup uh, of remote that you have. But basically copy that and then uh, the next thing you want to do is type in sudo gedit and then paste in that location. Um, that's it. And in here what we're going to do is find your mapping, okay? They have different mappings in here. Um, so I have, well, they have this one for the ATI remote 1 or 2, which is not the remote that I have. This one's for another device here. And the next one, uh, this one is mine. I have the original ATI remote 1 or 1 here. Uh, and basically what you want to do right here where they have the gap part here see it says gap here right right under it we're going to add another two lines uh, some people change this to a different number also um, in my experiences it doesn't really matter but uh, some other people said it does so look that up if you want to do that anyways what you want to do is add in these two lines if I can have it here basically what you don't want to do is type in uh, the minimum repeat is just to one right and you want to suppress it um, suppress the repeat and I put a five because you know mine repeated five times so I guess you can do it four times too some people put it lesser than you know their amount and that works too but I, I usually put it at the same number so if your IRW command you know uh, sends it five times then I, I put five and it does work also okay anyways that's all you gotta do in there and then you save it and um, what we're gonna do is restart it see what's the restart here so I'm gonna do sudo blah 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 restart type this sucker in and we'll restart the LIRC and that's it now we, we type in IRW right and we use our remote you see I press up down left right it only sends it one time and that's exactly what we want it to do um, for all our keys and that's pretty much how you would solve that all you gotta do is type in you know the minimum um, thing and, and the, the repeat to whatever number that you had before 
but you see now it's working fine it doesn't repeat it five times like we had earlier uh, so that's how you would solve that problem and make sure you put it into the right place like I said I was using the ATI remote wonder the RF one um, that's it that's how you solve it